to track collisions we need to add area and collision shape to the note scene. Area is required to have collision shape. And for collision shape choosing type is required. I'm choosing box shape now. Let's adjust the box shape size to fit the note size. Looks good. Now let's do the same thing for note picker scene. I'm adding area node to the picker group. It will help to determine the node type when collision happen. Here I'm adding note group. Let's add the event listener function for the node area. Area enter event means some other area is entered to this area. We need to use this type of events to handle collision between notes and pickers. Also let's add the event listener function for the area exit event. Check out this feature. I put a breakpoint in the code editor and when I run the game, it stops in this place. I can inspect and debug the code. The game is stopped because collision between node area and picker area has happened. Now the game is stopped because node area is entered and exit the picker area. I'm adding the additional variable to track note collecting state to the picker. Is collecting will be true when key pressed but be set to false again after any note is collected. Back to the note script and add collect function. So when the note is collected, we set picker is collecting back to false and hide the note. The collecting works, but I need to check picker collecting state.
It works. Let's check it from the top down view. As you can see notes are collected by picker in the proper way. Now some extra information. I use Git every day and recommend you to use it. All scenes in Go.Engine is text based and that means it works with Git very well. Using Git allows you to control the development of the project and easily undo wrong changes in any time. I've created a new repository now and commit all current progress. For example I'm adding some wrong changes and break the game. Using Git I can see what was changed and undo these changes. Important! Sometimes after undo changes using Git you need to restart the engine. Keep this in the mind. The game works again as needed. If you are not familiar with Git yet, just go to the official site and read the documentation. This is the tool number one for any developer.